everyone, I'm Dr. Tracy Scapestra with Embodied Learnings, and this is your activity demo. Today I have three different props. These are props that are similar in nature in that they're very light. Now two of them are from nature and one of them are um, is something that we use every day. So I have a feather. Now this is a very, very large eagle feather. I wouldn't recommend one quite this big to use, but you can always get feathers at the dollar store, especially those really multicolor crafty ones. Those are a lot of fun. So we have a feather. I also have a leaf. Now this is a silk leaf, and again, I also bought this at the dollar store, but you can collect leaves in the fall, and um, again, just having those crafty leaves that you can use over and over again are great because they're also very light. And then I also have a Kleenex. And uh, Kleenexes come, of course, in Kleenex boxes, and there's usually hundreds, and they're great. So once a student uses it once, they have a lot of fun, and then they can throw it away. So here are three different items that are very light and really wonderful to use for movement activities. So one of the things that I think is really great to do, and I'm just going to put down my feather because I won't demonstrate with that one today, but it's wonderful to start by just feeling the object on your body. So putting it on a hand, for example, how does it feel? Oh, it's very, very light. And moving it up and down. And how much do you have to move your hand before you can see the, the Kleenex or the leaf coming off your hand? So you don't have to move very much. What would happen if you blow on it? Oops, it didn't come off. So often when we blow, we can send it into the air and we can watch it. So how can we describe the way the leaf or the Kleenex falls to the ground? The next thing you can do is you can put it on different body parts and see how it is that you might move that body part through space. So I can move my hand through space and I wanna do that without losing the Kleenex on top of my hand. And I can lift it up and maybe catch it on the other hand. So that's the other thing is you can play with them like scarves. You can throw them in the air and catch them on your head, throw it in the air and catch it on your knee. I also really like to um, put it on body parts and have students dance. So again, with the Kleenex on your head, you can say, let's try jumping, let's try stomping, let's try running. And what happens? Can you keep it on your head? So how do you have to change your movement so it doesn't fall off? So using different props like this, it gets students to have to have a really good sense of control within their body. Because these objects are so light, they get a sense of how far can I go? How fast can I move? Um, what keeps it on? What doesn't keep it on? So in what way do I control my body to really work with this prop? So it's just something really simple that you can do. And again, just create a dance. So moving it so from the hand and then switching it to a different body part. And again, you can do it where you move all around and what happens when I switch it to a different body part and how can I keep control of this prop? So again, just a, something really fun, something really simple. Um, again, it doesn't cost very much money at all. The tissue's perfect because we always have boxes of tissues in our classroom. So that's it for today. That is your activity demo. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Take care.